田丸上手Welcome to the room that I rent From great awesome people let's get into the tour so this box right here is pretty much what I own just mugs that I collected and this is just camping gear this side I won't open pretty much is just clothes this side is some of the stuff is not mine. It is the people that I rent from. They keep their stuff in this closet. But first shelf, clothes. This is a machete. Carrot, machete. That's how sharp it is. And I can enjoy a carrot now. Mm, good carrot. No sound effects added. This is how actually the machete sounds. Are you ready, viewer? I'm about to throw this machete. Here we go. Let's do a second time. Really nice machete. I like this machete. It has a good ring to it, too. The machete handle is made out of uh, polypropylene. I think, but it is a very tough plastic that is molded into this machete. These are screen mistakes, which are polypropylene. The way I learned to throw a machete is by these screen mistakes, because they have really good weight to it. It's almost the same weight as the machete. That's why I know how to throw a machete. So do not start throwing machetes or knives. I train myself. A person can educate himself anything. They're much tougher than a bamboo screen mistake. And screen mistakes are basically a good self-defense and AP non-aggression principle. If someone attacks you, you defend yourself. You can hit this thing as hard as you can and won't break. All my spices and cooking stuff. Printer is not in use. There's no ink. I keep my chroma key down there. Box of tape. And usually I keep boxes if they have warranty. If one year warranty is ended, I throw away the box. So it is always best to keep boxes if you have warranty on a specific product. Continuing on. This is I brought from, uh, from Georgia. It is made out of clay. Back then in Georgia, they used to drink out of these. Really awesome fridge. You got freezer, pack of meat, fridge. This area right here, Ruslan is borrowing some of the gear from me. So he's using it. I'm checking that the lens was clean. These curtains are 99% block the sun. They're really cheap, but they do the job. I'll link down below in the description box where you can get these. They work really great, especially when the sun sets and all the sun just, just hits right in this area and exposes a lot of the video. They are doubled, so they block a lot of sunlight. This is where I sleep. This is where I keep all the gear. This thing right here is from Upteka, a cage rig. This part is sold separately configure it however suits you best. First drawer is first aid kit. Russians love to dissect technology. This is just pretty much papers and this drawer is 
cables and this is the area pretty much all the videos are filmed at the film shoot studio i hate clutter i'm a minimalist however you want to call it as you see in this tour i barely have stuff the best way to succeed at a job is to surround yourself with the equipment that you use so i would have room just filming equipment because the fact that I want to learn how to use that tool even better. And a lot of the filming equipment is not needed. For an example, this cage. The question is, do I need this cage? For now, maybe, yes. But I can replace it with a gimbal. Or these two handles. Once I get a gimbal, I wouldn't need this equipment at all. It's just gonna lay around and it's not gonna be in use. So I'm planning to sell this or give it to someone. Just to throw this in the bag, it'll put a lot of weight. Or, I'm still keeping this because of the fact that it is really good to have a steady cam without any batteries. But those two other rigs, I'm definitely gonna get rid of them once I get a gimbal. If you're planning to buy some kind of cage rig or circular rig, whatever the rig is, I would recommend to save up money and to buy a gimbal. Right now, there's a lot of gimbals. There's gimbals that are $600. There's gimbals that are $900, like the Ronin S, the Zihan. Now, Ronin S is on the pricier side, so if you want something on the lower side of the price, I definitely recommend the Zihan. I'll link some down below, some gimbals that you can check out. I definitely want to review some of the gimbals that I'll link down in the description box. But for now, I will use what I have. Gimbals right now can take a much larger weight and it's a lot lighter than all of this rigs together. Because if you're traveling for a long time or you're going through airports, it does put weight on your back. So it's best to have the lighter the gear. Throughout the time as a videographer, you will polish everything up. You'll update your software to edit videos. You'll update your equipment. You'll update your lenses. Your videos viewer or my videos, they're gonna get better. Nothing happens overnight. Hashtag nothing happens overnight. So you polish and polish where it looks really, really good. But from the time that I started making videos of last year, which would be 2017, it was a struggle to get the equipment that's needed. It takes time. It would be faster if we had hard money, but the synthetic money system does not allow that, that you can grow so successfully really quick. Also, with minimalist, however you want to call it, there's a book called Bible, which is God's Word. In 1 Timothy 6, 7, it says, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we carry nothing out. Does that mean go pitch and tent and don't have anything at all? No. That doesn't even say anything about that. That means that do not lust in the earthly things. Meaning the fact that having less stuff, your mind will be more clear and you'll be focused in succeeding in whatever the job is. This is not a bed. This is a couch. And how it works is it just folds away. I moved the table a couple inches away from the from the wall so that I would have the view of the table and not so close up. That's where the 10 18 millimeter lens helps a lot. And then this is my uh, wall sandwich, you can call it. There is a wall mount then a, another ball head and a phone holder and a cold shield on the top. This desk light is not CRI, it's just a really basic cheap light. It has wireless charging, you can lower the setting of the light to dim it and put it all the way to make it brighter. Can you change your colors? Yes, you can change the colors. There's about, I think it's five. It's this one. This area is I just keep kitchen stuff, blender, not sponsored by Ninja or anything like that. So this was a room tour 1.0.
click on the notification bell to get notified when there's a new video, click on the like button, and also subscribe. Be brave, continue filming valuable content. Until next time.